this disorder um, impacts our executive functioning. And the executive functioning in our brain controls everything, including emotions. So of course it includes emotions. In fact, I had been reading some research, I don't have it in front of me, but when ADHD was first written about in medical journals in Germany, I think in the 1700s, it was mainly written about it as an emotional disorder. So I don't know. I mean, I've got my own theories that it's like a kind of capitalism thing or something or academia or let's just get people productive and moving along and forget the emotions and, you know, let's we can define this ADHD thing and we can get people, I don't know what, diagnosed, medicated, getting back to work productive. It's really a loose conspiracy theory that means nothing. It makes no sense. So don't listen to me. But I just kind of wonder how it's just sort of like the way we – and maybe it's not even like a, it's not some conspiracy theory, but it's just the way we, what we value in culture. We value dealing with our productivity over valuing our emotions. I personally don't know how you can be productive when your emotions are out of whack, but maybe that's just me. I'm an ADHD. So let's start with things experts are saying and not just me babbling about a weird theory that I just made up. But before I get to the experts, let me just say this. Without getting into like, one specific story. I could not regulate my emotions in romantic relationships. I have gotten a lot of help for that and so far so good in this iteration of my life. But in the past, it was like if you were my romantic partner and I've had boyfriends and husbands and fiancés, well, I've had one husband, but ex-husband, but it's like I was – my only theories I could come up with is that I'm, I, I'm masking all day at work. You know, I'm, I'm pretending to – hold it together to be a good employee. I'm working twice as hard as other people to pay attention and know what's going on. And I hyper-focus and I love it. And I'm usually out of touch with my emotions during all of those kinds of things. And when I get home is when I collapse into, ah, the real me. And I know we all feel that way to a certain extent. If you don't have ADHD, you know what it is. You come home, you take off your bra, right? You kick off your shoes. You may just like take your pants down and throw on sweatpants right away and leave your jeans on the living room floor. Of course, we all do that. But there's a certain level to it for an ADHD person where you're home, you're comfortable. Sorry, person I love and that loves me. You're the one that's going to see the raging person that the whips up and turns into the um, Tasmanian devil, if you've seen that cartoon from you know Bugs Bunny. And that's what would happen. Or it would just be like, I'm so overwhelmed, I don't even recognize that you're there when I walk in the door. 